These things are so bloody creepy. Why do you want a half baby sticking out? What is the point? Terrified bloody kids? Well, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another video and welcome to 2021, which is actually mental. Where did 2020 go? I don't know, but I'm glad she left the building, that's for sure. So I did this video the other day where every tile is one tile bigger, but then I saw Sydney's video. She's decided to do every room as a random number of tile, which was so clever and I loved how her build turned out. So hers is linked down below. Definitely go check out. It's amazing. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. Here is the random number generator i've just done one to 50 because i'm scared of building big houses i won't lie i like little houses i know what i'm doing so let's see what we're gonna get probably for the main entrance i'll start and then we'll just go through it and see what happens so how much do we get for the main entrance oh fuck oh this is not going off to a good start Okay, so the hallway, you come in here. This is gonna be a grand ass hallway, that is for sure. I'm thinking really big stairs, you know? Probably like a mega grand staircase. Oh my God, like sing out Beauty and the Beast. Oh my God, that'd be beautiful, oh. Okay, hallway done. I'm thinking of maybe doing the living room this side and the kitchen this side. So let's start with the living room first. Okay, how much do you get for the living room? 35, okay, that's a decent size. One, two, three. Oh, that's definitely more than 35. I'm gonna put a couch in there so you know I remember because knowing me, I probably forget. Okay, for the kitchen, 38. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. Oh, actually, in comparison to the oven, this room looks really big. Oh. I literally was going to be like, I don't need an upstairs. I can just, you know, do a bedroom downstairs. And I was like, yeah, but the grand hallway is going to have stairs. And Okay, for. Go for. Let's go for a fancy dining room. 50 tiles. Okay. I mean, I, di I did say fancy, but bloody hell, this one is going to be crazy fancy right one two three four five six seven. Oh my god i feel like i'm having a math exam all this bloody counting <laughs> oh shit i've got a bathroom uh okay this is for the downstairs bathroom 12 okay that's actually a decent sized bathroom uh where should i put it hmm shove a toilet there fab okay let's move upstairs oh how the fuck am i gonna roof this stairs yes um i'm gonna need another hallway aren't i first okay so for the hallway upstairs i get 36 or five six oh do over the stairs count i mean technically they're part of the room okay so let's do the first bedroom oh fuck five it's gonna be so little that is it that is a bedroom I can't fit a bed in there. Oh, it can be a nursery. Oh my god, you can tell this family splashed out on the rooms downstairs and then the upstairs, they just didn't give a shit. This poor child. Let's do the second bedroom. 46, okay. Okay, master bedroom. Maybe I might add like a toy room because I feel really bad for this kid, I won't lie. Oh, we need a bathroom as well. What should we get like 50 tiles again for this bloody playroom? 44, okay, that is a massive playroom. Is that literally going to take up this whole bit? I mean, you would be pissed off if this was your playroom and that was your bedroom. you think you'd swap them. Right, we need a bathroom. Please don't be a giant bathroom. 24, okay. Okay, so we have all our rooms and honestly, I just... I didn't go to 70, I went to 50 and it's still bloody massive. Oh god, right. Let's start with the hallway and then just... We'll figure it out as we go. <gasps> Wait, I've got a roof this. Oh, crap. Okay, so this is what I've come up with and I'm just gonna put it out here. I am not a good roofer I am shit at it. Clearly, this is what we can see but this is what I've managed to do with it so far I'm gonna maybe dress it up a bit, you know, add some flowers, add some I don't know something to make it a bit better <laughs> uh, There we go. That's better. I think that turned out pretty well, right? Let's actually move on inside and deal with this shit show shall we? Uh, where should we begin? Okay, right, the hallway. Actually, I better put lights in because I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Although that might be a good thing, to be honest. <laughs> I'm thinking like proper grand, you know, I might even go for marble floors, you know, be a real fancy bit. There we go, we can shove an easel in the back maybe, because I always forget to give my sims hobbies and I feel like they need to actually have some sort of skills. Oh shit, where have I put the door? Oh no! I feel like you it's so hard to clutter up like hallways so it's like what do you actually 
hurt everywhere. <gasps> that window is going to really annoy me. But it looks nice from the outside, so. Right, I feel like, should I put something under the stairs? I don't know what, though. Oh, maybe we can have, like, a little secret reading nook. That would be cute. So cute. It's like the little secret nook they come when the family is driving them mad. Oh. I love it. Okay, I think that is the hallway basically done. What do we think? Right, let's move on to the kitchen. Oh, maybe I'll do like an island or something. I never do just an island in the middle of the room. I don't know why. Oh, I always forget a bloody sink. I don't know what's wrong with me and sink. Oh, I can show one in the island, can't I? Oh, look at me being all modern. Who'd have thought it? Can I have a bread bin? What do Americans call the bread bin? Bread box of holding. No, it's a bread bin. I know it's not like a bin bin, but we call it a bread bin in the UK. Although we do need a bin bin, actually. Let me get a bin bin. <laughs> Whoa, okay. These tiles. Wow. Okay, I never use stuff like this. I'm just gonna, you know, it's different. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my God, hasn't that made that just like 10 times nicer and cozier? Let's get some big ass fancy curtains. Yes. Honestly, when you size things down, it just gives you so much more options. Ooh, that's pretty. I haven't used that before. How cute is that? Oh my God, I love that part. Right, let me move on. And I'm gonna do like a little breakfast bit going on here. I say breakfast bit i'm just gonna shove a little table in there just to fill the space up to be honest <laughs> i really just want more round tables in the sims is that honestly too much to ask for and what can i shove in the corner a flower absolutely and in the other corner more flowers <laughs> i say flowers they're bloody plants and then let's shove some really big obnoxious picture on the wall and then that is that little area done there we go that's like a cute little area i don't know if it's usable but it's cute okay let's move on should we go for the bathroom maybe let's go to the bathroom have i put a door there okay thank god i have oh i have a corner what can i shove in it a plant some candles give a bit of ambiance going on there we go some extra shampoo and conditioner because you know there's always someone who uses the last of it and doesn't replace it there we go i think the bathroom's done to be honest this was like a perfect amount of tiles for the bathroom nothing too fancy going on they just got everything they need right let's move on to the living room shall we okay we actually have like a giant living room i won't even lie oh the curtains out you know block all those haters oh they could put a fireplace in here yes if you don't know this i'm kind of obsessed with fireplaces in the sim so i'm i get really upset if i can't fit one in i don't know what the hell that is but i feel like fancy people normally have the weirdest shit in their corners don't they i kind of love and hate this house at the same time and i know that is a weird thing to say i would definitely never have this in my own house but i can appreciate it that it is absolutely fabulous oh are they gonna knock themselves out on that light I don't know, but it looks really pretty. It's worth the risk, in my opinion. <laughs> God, actually, these are absolutely massive, aren't they? Oh, look, a corner. Put in there. I wonder. There you go. Can I have that strange picture of the family? Maybe. Who the hell is that supposed to be? Is that Anne Boleyn? Oh, hey, Anne. <laughs> okay, she can chill on our wall. Why not? Have we got room for a plant? Hmm. So what do we think of this room? I mean, it's not my favourite, but it's kind of cool. Right, let's actually move upstairs now. Oh, no, what's this room? Oh, the dining room. Oopsie. <gasps> Have I forgot a door? Oh, shit. There we go. They can go through there. I know it's not going to work, but you can just delete a few chairs if you want to download this. It'll be under the name Shannon Ellis 2020, which in hindsight, I kind of wish I didn't name myself that, considering what happened in 2020. In the wise words of Miss Taylor Swift, we are dressing the table with the fancy shit. I mean, I say that, I've put a bloody plant on there. <laughs> oh, there we go, that's a bit fancier. <laughs> oh, windows, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Once again, blocking the haters with my curtains, like, I can't see you, you nasty bastards. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't put that in the video. <gasps> we have room for another fireplace, we could be that fancy. Oh, they might burn their back on it there though doesn't look that cozy so i'm gonna go get some fairy lights again where art thou fairy lights don't hide from me oh that's beautiful oh so bloody cute i love it i am definitely giving them all the fancy shit now that is for sure look at all these bottles of wine they're getting ready for the new year what can i put in this little corner um maybe a spare bed <laughs> There we go. So now if someone's a bit too drunk and they can obviously drive home, there is a bed ready there and a bit of privacy ready. Oh, and we can shove an old record player there and they can listen to music while getting drunk. That is so cute. I love that. 
I think I'm finished with this room, to be honest. I think it looks really smart. Right, let's actually move upstairs now. Oh, right, I'm gonna give them windows while I remember. <laughs> oh, balls. Oh, right, this is gonna have to be like an ensuite bathroom then. I didn't think that through, oopsie. Right, it's okay. It is okay, they can just have a giant one. Right, let's just start in the kids room. I might actually turn this into half an office as well, just because it's just so bloody big. I don't know what else I'm gonna put in there. What? How the hell is that coming through the roof? Weird. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll have that bit as like the playroom for the baby and this bit, the rest is the office. It's that castle. I love that. I would so want to play with that as a kid. Oh my God. And I know technically there's still a baby, but... I need to make something out of this room, okay? <laughs> I know this technically isn't like baby friendly yet. It's more like toddlers, but... I mean, there's no but. I want to make everything look pretty and this is what I came up with. We're going with it, okay? It looks super cute. So it's ready for the baby and the mess is already there. Right, let's get an office going. I love this computer. How cool is it? It's so bloody fancy. You know when you go into like Curry's PC World and they literally have got all the fancy computers out? You know, the ones that you just don't even want to touch because you're worried you're going to break. That's what it reminds me of. I love this so much from Nifty Knitting. It is so bloody cute with a little sheep on it. Oh, cute. Look, I'll fancy it up, okay? What what makes it fancy? Um, This. Now it's fancy. <laughs> Should we have a cheeky little fireplace in here? It's missing something, but I don't know what. I remember the missing fairy lights. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave the office slash playroom like this, you know? I really like how it turned out. All these awkward weird shapes have actually helped me somehow i might actually add more into my build right let's quickly do the hallway in the middle where's it gone that was weird are they gonna whack the head on that that seems like really low i would love to know what everyone wants from the sims for this coming year because like i feel like a lot of people have been disappointed this year with what the sims brought out i'm trying to think what my favorite things Honestly, I love the nifty knitting stuff. I was a bit skeptical when it first came out because I was like, really knitting? But honestly, the stuff is so cute in it. I love it. We're not going to talk about the big elephant in the room, which is Star Wars, which no one asked for. We'll just move past that quickly. The snowy escape. I haven't actually bought that one, but that looks really good. What else came out this year? Eco lifestyle. Mm, I didn't buy that one either. Anything else come out this year? No, I think that's basically what came out this year but i'm trying to think what next year what do i want i just want them to listen to everyone to be honest you know a lot of people aren't happy with the sims team at the moment which you know i understand so yeah let me know in the comments down below what you want to see from the sims team this year i love these hanging plants from nifty knitting you do have to unlock them or you can just put a cheat in and they're already done for you to be honest that's what i like doing <laughs> I nearly was about to say, and for the last time today, I'll put those fairy lights up, but then I realised I've got another room to do, and I'm probably going to use some more. Okay, so we've got the master bedroom, we've got the nursery, and then another toilet to do. I feel, oh god, this bedroom is so little. I don't even know if the baby can... Right, I think I have to put the baby there, because otherwise it's not going to be able to use anything in the corner. What can I shove in that? <laughs> A plant. <laughs> that fits there. Okay, fab. That will have to do. Because even the kids one won't fit. We'll do it yellow. These things are so bloody creepy. Why do you want a half baby sticking out? What is the point? Terrified bloody kids? I, I say that and then I put like a little grim reaper on the top. Honestly, I don't know what else to put in here without it being too much. So I'm going to leave it like that. And that can be like the baby's dresser. Fab. Right, let's move on to the bedroom. Oh, this bloody roofing's coming back to haunt me. This is such a big bedroom. I don't even know how to fill it, to be honest. A lot of wardrobes and maybe a sofa or two. We literally have so much room. I can just put another fireplace in and have some comfy chairs around it. Oh, there we go. I can just put a load of these Get Famous ones. Yes, that looks so good. Okay, they can just be really obsessed with clothes and shoes. That is what I'm going for anyway. Anything to just shove in the corner. Oh, I haven't put any plants in here yet. There we go. Shove them in corners. <gasps> An empty dead space of wall. What can I put in there? I wonder. That looks so cute. Ooh, that's kind of funky. I kind of like that on that wall, actually. 
I think I've finished their bedroom now. I think it's kind of cool. Definitely different for me. I wouldn't personally have this, but I kind of like the way it turned out. And it's so bloody big that they've got their own bloody fireplace area and obviously full on wardrobes. Right, let's move on to the last room, which is going to be their ensuite, I'm guessing, because I forgot to do the hallway connecting to this. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. We can figure it out. I feel like in an ensuite in a house like this you would go fancy bitch vibes so i'm gonna go for super pink and girly vibes the wife living here is obsessed with pink and this is her bathroom that she designed i mean that's what i'm going through in my head let <laughs> watch it turn out like a mess now right we definitely need a bath in this and i'm thinking the get famous one i feel like this whole bathroom might be just get famous to be honest and of course, she's gonna have to have the get famous mirror, obviously. <laughs> Can I have his and hers dressing gowns? That's so cute. Of course, a pink towel rack, obviously. Does that come in pink? I feel like it would. Doesn't come in pink. Well, goodbye then. Oh, I've got to give them a washing machine. Ugh. Well, we could put the toilet there and have the washing machine there, couldn't we? And of course, the these have to be in baby blue and pink. That is super girly. Yeah, and then it's kind of still cornered off, you know? Because you don't want to see all the washing behind there, do you? I think I might leave it like this, you know? I think oh, I really like this room. It's so cute. And I love the idea of hiding that, to be honest. But yeah, this is the finished house. So there's a layout for the upstairs and there's a layout for the downstairs. I hope you enjoyed this wacky video. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe if you're new and I